Hi guys, in this video I'll teach you how to make this type of bandanas. In the past I thought you how to make this type of bandana that you put inside your pet collar. However, I prefer these bandanas because they are easy to put on and take up from your pet. You can make bandanas for different occasions by a fabric that matches the season. I prefer to use a material that is 100% cotton. On this occasion, I'll be making Halloween bandanas. You can download the pattern from my blog avantimorocha.com. If you have a large stock, modify the medium bandana and add 2 to 3 inches to the bottom. The length of the neck is going to vary based on each pet. For example, the circumference around the neck of one of my dogs is 12 inches divided by half is 6 then add 2 inches, the total is 8 inches. My medium sized dog has a neck that is 14 inches divided by half is 7 and then add 2 inches, the total is 9 inches. These parents already have a quarter inch seam allowance. Based on the pattern, cut a square on the fabric. Fold it in half and place the pattern. Now cut the pieces. If you have good fabric scissors, you may be able to cut four pieces in one cut. Here I have the pieces for three bandanas. Now also the bandana around, leaving an opening by the neck. Since I'm using snaps in these bandanas, I'll place two small pieces of fabric stabilizer at the ends. So the bandana leaving an opening by the neck. Now I'll notch this area and tour around the bandana. I'll press the bandana with my Easy Press Mini. This also helps me to set the stabilizer by the ends. Now I'll top stitch the edges. Now I finish sewing the bandana. I'll place the snaps. I bought this set on Amazon. It comes with the applicator, I'll share the link in the info box below the video. Follow the instructions that came with the package. If you have any issues, you are not putting the pieces in the correct position. Now the bandana is ready. For these bandanas, I'll be using these designs that I put together with images and fonts from Cricut's library. I'll share the link to this project on my design space profile. To use it, you need to have Cricut access. Now click on make it, click on matte, continue. Since this is an iron-on project, I'll mirror the image. I'll use two pieces of the same material but in different colors on the same mat. Use the mat as a guide to place the material. Continue. Select the material. I'm using everyday iron on. Load the material. You can use this technique as long you use the same type of vinyl, which means they use the same settings. Don't forget to place the iron on with the shiny size facing down. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process of cutting these pieces took 4 minutes. Now I'll start weeding the extra material. As you can see I'm on the Cricut Heat Guide site. I'll be using the Easy Press 2. The transfer material is everyday iron on and the base material is 100% cotton. I'll be using the Easy Press mat. These are the settings for this material. 
preheated for five seconds. Place the design. Put a piece of parchment paper. You could also use butcher or Teflon paper. Press it for 30 seconds. Turn it around and press it for 15 seconds. Let it cool. Now that it's cool, I'll remove the backing. I hope you like this project. If you are interested in a Cricut, I'll share the links where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.